Hey guys, this week I'm doing a vendor feature with Mary and Christy out at the Stables, uh, one of the beautiful barn uh, venues that we have for weddings here in the Northwest Ohio area. Uh, we love working there, it's so great. So thank you guys for being here today. Um, why don't you guys tell me a little bit about who you are and, and what you have going on out there at the Stables? Well, thanks for having us. This is such a pleasure and super fun. My name is Christy and I am Christy, my main name's Wheeler. Um, our family has owned Wheeler Farms and the White House Christmas Tree Farm. And we purchased the stables in 2013. So we have been, you know, open for business, for wedding business for almost a decade now, which is hard to imagine. Nice. <laughs> so, yeah, it's been really fun. At first, when we purchased the stables, I, I really, truly did not see it as a wedding venue. And then sure enough, 10 years later, it's become quite popular. <laughs> yeah, my name's Mary. I've been the lead event associate at the Stables since 2017. So I've seen quite a few weddings. Um, I started as an intern and I've just been here ever since. So we love all of our couples. Every wedding is so unique and so different. So it's a super fun job mm -hmm. and position to have. Um, tell me a little more about what what the stables were before you guys bought it 10 years ago like what made you guys see it and decide to turn it into a wedding venue so our family owns the white house christmas tree farm which is on ob road and we had the butterfly house as well and when the stables um, came up for sale it had previously been used as an actual riding stable so it was a dirt floor no restrooms at the time horses were housed in it um, so it was truly a stables mm -hmm. Um, and it was actually built after a real life barn in Kentucky. Um, so it really truly was a stable. So then it was converted, they put concrete floor in and it was used by local schools to play baseball and indoor basketball. So you can actually nice. still see some of like the three point lines on the floor if you look closely. Um, okay. So when I purchased it, they sort of had the vision of doing weddings and events. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, I never would have guessed that people would be playing basketball, like sports there. I you know, I never would have thought of that. You can definitely yeah. see the stables. Like when we've been there, you know, I, I see the actual area where the horses would be. So that's yeah. always yeah. Uh, very cool. Yeah. And it's cool. We still like the original barn doors and the names of the horses are still on the stalls. <laughs> so we did try to keep as many of the original artifacts as possible. Um, so now that you've been doing weddings for 10 years, you know, we've had the opportunity to do um, a few weddings there. And we, I know we have a, at least one or two this year. So I'm really excited. But um, just, you know, asking questions for our couples, like what can people expect uh, when they're having a wedding there? Like what possibilities as far as getting ready, ceremonies and reception and all that? Yeah, so our capacity inside the stables is 300 people. Um, it's really like a free range of which vendors you want to bring in. So you choose your own caterer, you choose your own bartender, florist, mm -hmm. rental companies. So you can choose anywhere you want on the property for your ceremony location. Um, we have a, a big wooden pergola, a flower garden, and then a pasture straight out from our sliding barn doors that faces the west. So it's really beautiful for a sunset ceremony. Um, so there's so many different options and possibilities on how you can set up your like customized wedding. Um, yeah. But yeah, so we provide all indoor tables and chairs and okay. all of the ceiling decor is permanent. So if you've seen photos, all of the white drapery inside, the bistro lighting, we have cool wooden chandeliers and then a, a pretty big back patio as well. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's, I think that's one of the reasons why our brides are so attracted to the stables because they can kind of choose their favorite restaurant or maybe the restaurant that they met and had their first date at, they can yeah. cater the wedding or bring in their own alcohol that they love and um, really just customize it to what they want. Yeah. And I think too, um, you know, it being a barn, but it's, it's a nicer barn. It's not like a, a worn down. So I think you can ha have like more of a rustic country theme, but you could also have a more like elegant kind of glamorous country thing. Yeah, sure. And a few couple of years ago, we actually added an entire HVAC system. So we can control the heating as well as air conditioning um, just nice. by our phones right now. So that's been really a, a nice yeah. perk for those summer weddings that get yeah. pretty 
hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I imagine it can get pretty hot in the summers for sure. Um, mm -hmm. I do remember the the big barn doors um, being open. I know that's a really cool feature. And all the string lights like out on the, the patio are my favorite. Those are so gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we think so too. So where, where are you guys right now? I know I've been there, but I know couples would love to hear about um, what you guys have going on there. Is, is that, well, and you can tell me, is that a newer addition, I think? Yep, so it, okay. we renovated it about this time last year. So it's brand new as of 2020. Um, nice. It's called the Wine Room. And it's just another property on the farm where you can hold mm -hmm. like more 30 to 40 people. Um, okay. so we've had a lot of bridal showers, baby showers, rehearsal dinners. There's a bridal prep room for our stables brides. Um, so a lot of our couples rent it for the morning of, or the night before for the rehearsal dinner. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a really cute, cozy, mm -hmm. like living room style space. Yeah. And it's nice because we also have a huge outdoor patio that you really can't see from this view, but maybe you have some photos of it and it's great for yeah. outdoor seating. Um, it's right on our vineyard on the Christmas tree farm side. So it's just plenty of open space. And we've noticed that with the trend of weddings kind of getting a little bit smaller with COVID being an ongoing issue, um, yeah. this has been an alternative for those brides yeah. that want a more interesting and then I know our couples will want to know um, this a lot. I know there's a lot of great photo ops, you know, in and around the farm. Um, so can you tell me a little bit about some of the people's, uh, some of your couple's favorite places to go for, for epic pictures on the farm? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So there's so many spaces around this property. We're also a quarter mile down the street from Oak Opening Sumatra Park. So mm -hmm. a ton of our couples go over there during their cocktail hour for photos but on our property alone, we have a bigger, we call it the big white barn. So it's right next to where we're at right now, the wine room. Um, and it has this really cool third floor lookout that faces our Christmas tree farm. Um, so a lot of people have done like a first look there mm -hmm. again for cocktail hours to go over just with the bridal party and do some fun, like intimate photos. Mm -hmm. um, we have a really cool, like black spiral staircase that you could see on our website. Um, where a lot of times like the bridesmaids kind of, you know, filter down through the staircase and that's a beautiful photo. Yeah. yeah. But the stables, as you kind of mentioned, it's not very like a rustic dilapidated barn or anything. So it doesn't have like that rusticy look, but this big white barn has that barn charm, authentic, authentic yeah. charm, over a hundred years old. Yeah. Um, it's just really wow. pretty and natural. And for those brides looking for a barn backdrop, it's perfect. Yeah. That's awesome. With the the butterfly house, I know that's right by there as well. Are our brides and grooms able to go over there for pictures usually? Yeah. So the butterfly house, as we know it, is no longer like we don't have any butterfly butterflies there anymore because we've had okay. such trouble with um, COVID and importing. It's been kind of a, a complicated situation. But we did keep all of our plants alive. The greenhouse is still active and running. Uh, we have a beautiful koi pond. So it's perfect for brides that want like a lush green setting in their background, especially yeah. if it's rain on their wedding day and they just yeah. want some indoor photos. It's a perfect yeah. space. And I know that's a big, a big deal as like a rain um, backup option. Mm -hmm. I mean, just in general at the stables, I think you guys have a lot of great options with the barns you know, both barns and then also the, the butterfly house. Um, I, just as a photographer, I, I know that is a definite plus to be able to like have that option. Are there any other questions you guys um, think that like most of your couples ask or anything else as far as information and, um, you know, things that you want to provide couples if they're looking for a venue in the area? One thing that we've realized over the years, weddings at the stables, um, they go so much smoother and the family is so less stressed out if they have a wedding coordinator. And that's one thing that we've always kind of suggested to brides. And we know that budgets are tight, but if they were looking to spend a little bit more, we highly recommend a wedding coordinator because the stables is a very do it yourself because, you know, we, we want each bride to create her own yeah. vision. Um, so we do encourage that, but mm -hmm. it's not necessary, but it always seems to go a little smoother when you have somebody yes. coordinate. I imagine so, especially with, um, you know, coordinating the different, the rental company, the mm -hmm. catering company, the bars, like 
the the couple doesn't want to have to worry about that the morning of like as as yeah. those people are supposed to be arriving it's it's definitely a plus to have a coordinator there just to like tell those people where to go and what they need to do so and I really, in northwest Ohio I feel like we have some really good coordinators available yeah um, and even if they couldn't help you the entire duration of your wedding planning at least having somebody the day of a your day event of, yeah critical yeah yes I couldn't agree more. Two thumbs yeah. up for that one. That's a, that's a great tip. We're always um, telling our couples. It's just, it makes everything run smoother, whether it is someone helping you the whole planning process or just on the day of, but mm -hmm. yeah, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> so perfect. Um, I guess just some general contact information. Um, I'm assuming you guys have a website. What are, what are the best ways for couples to contact you guys? Yeah, so our direct website is just wheelerfarms.com and there's a stables tab that you can go over and fill out our inquiry form. Um, and then our Instagram is pretty popular as well. So it's just at the stables on OB, but um, in our Facebook too, we always post any updates or pictures of past weddings, um, yeah. little suggestions to our couples. So I don't, I don't know if you guys are like, this year is probably just as crazy for you guys uh, as it is for us, I'm sure. So how far out should people be contacting you for their wedding? You know, are, are you guys booked out into 2022 yet or? What's yeah, it that's like? a good question. We are pretty booked well into 2022. We do have a couple Saturdays left. Um, okay. I think Fridays are becoming just as popular as Saturday. So we still have quite a few Fridays open in 2022. Okay. Yeah. Um, probably released a 2023 calendar year sometime this summer. So okay. But yeah, I mean, we do book kind of far out in advance. We were talking yeah. this morning, most of our brides book yeah. 14 to 18 months out. Okay. So yeah. a little over a year, year and a half. Okay. Good um, to one know. One of the advantages too at the stables, if you have a Friday wedding, we mm -hmm. allow our Friday brides to come in on Thursday afternoon, free of charge to do all of her setup. Okay. Nice. So it's kind of nice. So on Friday, when she gets married, everything's done. Um, yeah. you know, Saturdays are super popular, but the Saturday bride definitely comes in at 10 a.m., 10 30 a.m. And it's yeah. you know, all hands back. <laughs> it's it's a tricky, you know, you know, setup if yeah. she's getting yeah. married say. So um, but we do so encourage people that want to get married on a Friday, we do allow them to come in on Thursdays. Yeah. So that's a little benefit to to mm -hmm. booking a Friday wedding. I agree. Yeah. I mean that's it's the same for us. We're getting a lot of, um, this year for sure is a lot of Friday weddings just because we we're struggling to fit in from, from last year. So I'm sure that's the same for you guys. Well, thank you guys so much. It was nice having you. I think we answered, you know, a lot of great questions for our couples. I hope that, um, uh, people who are planning their wedding for the next couple of years, looking for, uh, that barn barn type of venue will definitely be, um, looking you guys up. So thank you so much um, for you guys watching the videos at home. Uh, comment below if you guys have any questions uh, for Mary and Christy about um, the barn, barn weddings and having your ceremony outside and all the fun things that you can do there. And um, hit like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.